Good morning, weather's a bit better now, so time to put the uh, Schnitzer splitter on. I prefer, much prefer this one, um, the RDX splitter from Germany. But uh, I've got the other one now, might as well put it on. So uh, we'll go and, go and fetch it and I'll show you how to install it. Is. It's a bit nippy today. Car could have done with a clean as well before putting this on. Right. So there you go, there's the two side by side, you can see the difference. I've just put a bit of white reflective tape on that to keep in line with the, the rest of it, which I'll have to do because most of it's coming off anyway. So as you can see here, there's just little tabs which slot in and at the bottom as well. And it'll just slot onto that one. I actually have to repair this indicator like, because I think it's, what's going on there? Something's a bit loose in there. Sad to see this one go, but uh, it'll be up for sale on eBay. Complete as as this one is with the with the blue trims on as well. All right, then let's get to work. All right, we've got the tool kit ready now. <coughs> we'll just go underneath. What we need to do is remove this remove this this under tray. So you've got your seven mil bolts up here that's it so you've just got um just got to remove this plastic tray and what we're going to do is cut two little 50 mil, but the instructions say 50 mil squared channels out of that. Alright, I'll just remove that and then I'll get onto uh, mounting the splitter and drilling. Alright, then I'm just going to do the last one. And that's it, the tray comes down. So I guess we're drilling into this, this part here. Okay, so that's the shield that we need to take off. Alright then, all the bottom screws are off. What I also like to do is just come round here. I've spared you the um, boring bit of me under unbolting it, but undo the two all the bolts up here. And then also one on, under in there. And then you can just fold this back. Should be able to tuck just behind the suspension arm there and you can see all the inside all right once the um, shield is tucked away nicely behind there you can see all the inside the clips we're particularly interested in just trying to move around here these clips here so you just push them all in and then that will uh, that will allow you to remove this cover. So I'll go and do that quickly and um, and we'll get back to it. As you can see, just work, work your way around and you can you can start pulling off the uh, tabs. It's as easy as that. Right, once you um, undo all the tabs, you're probably going to get really sore arms. But uh, you have to undo this side as well. 
and the last tab should come out pretty easy if I can find it here it is there you go so now we can just pull this away from the car oh, one splitter off and that's what it looks like is your pedestrian warning speaker here. And there's your active flap here. And then you've got your um, your horns up there. You can see that. I actually put two, two on that side and two on this side just for good measure. There's your ambient temperature sensor just stuck under there. All right then, we've got to fix this indicator light. I think the bracket's broken. Yeah, that's it, bracket's broken up there. So I'll take that off and glue it. And I'll stick the other splitter on. All right, indicator's been repaired. A little tab broke off, so I've, uh, I've glued that. That's been glued with this stuff here. Absolutely brilliant stuff this is. It's a two-part epoxy resin. And, um, yeah, that should, uh, that should glue pretty well. Let's get that back onto the splitter. Right, we'll just fit that one up there. I can put the indicator in later because it just hooks in here. And then you've got, um, and you've just got two mounting screws. So it's quite easy to get hold into. You have it. Now what we need to do is these points here, 
we need to drill some holes in there so we can mount it. And it looks like I've got a pilot hole there already. Here's one. So I just have to drill another one and then put the nut rivets in. And that'll be it done. Right, what I've done now, I've put a nut rivet in there. So I'm just going to drill another nut rivet up there. And you can see it's in there. So I'll get the drill out and drill the hole and show you. What I'm doing now is I'm going to tighten up the nut, the bolt rather, and it's going to pull this bit down and it's going to spread out and lock it in.
All right, all done now. <coughs> There's quite a bit of alignment you need to do with those um, those bolts, brackets. So that's it. Looks very thin compared to that one. I still prefer that one because it's got a bit of character to it, but that's going to be up on eBay for sale. I think it's already on there actually. But yeah. Well, then I might just put a bit of foam tape under there just to make it look a little bit thicker and a little bit lower. Because that one was quite, um, quite a bit thicker than that. That looks very thin. Oh, I can't do that and all. See how that looks. Okay, I put a little foam strip along the bottom. I hardly notice it, but makes it look a little bit thicker. I'm sure it does look a lot cleaner though. There you go, and there's the other one. And so that's on, on eBay for, I think, once it's cleaned up, it'll look much nicer. That's on there for, I think, it's about 350 to £400 complete. So you won't be, it shouldn't be a problem for you. Just bolt it, bolt it straight on and just clip it straight in. Right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this has been helpful to someone.